I'm here with Alvarez Kings, and go ahead and introduce yourselves. I'm, uh, I'm Sean, and I play guitar. I'm doing my best. I'm Richard, and I play the drums. Okay, how's Warp been treating you so far? So far, it's been incredible. Everybody backstage and stuff like has been offering so much support and, and help, guidance. You know, because we're newbies on this thing. We're, you know, we're rookies in the world, too, so we need as much, uh, as much help as we can get, really. So, like, one big happy family. Yeah, that's, that's, the, that's the amazing thing about the tunnels. Everybody joins together as well. Speaking of which, you guys seem to have like formed a bromance with All Star Weekend. How did that <laughs> yeah. come about? Well, well sure. Yeah, we're sharing the two of us. We didn't have a choice, really. Yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. yeah it, it, it was just the most sensible option because they've been coming to watch our shows, vice versa. So he, the singer Zach, he's picked up some of the time for his songs anyway, yeah. just by watching it. So. I think, I think that probably needs a bit of an explanation because uh, yeah, basically our singer got held back at the American border. Okay. So uh, yeah, he's stuck in Toronto at the moment. We've not had a singer for four days now. Yeah. Yeah. So this is our third show today. And uh, yeah, Zach from All Star was like, you know what, I love you guys and stuff, so I'll, I'll help out. Any names. But uh, yeah, we, we've got a few other people that are willing to chip in and do a couple of these songs and stuff. Just to kind of fill Simon's boots until he gets back, which we're expecting maybe next year. Yeah. <laughs> Big signs, free Simon. Yeah. <laughs> um, so, how's the scene different from like in America versus Sheffield? And in, in the UK, things are a lot more different genres of music we're bringing. Never get, you'll never get metal fans coming to indie shows and vice versa. And same with pop versus indie music. It's all very insular, whereas over in America, the States, the genre lines are a lot more blurred. So, for example, this is traditionally a heavy metal hard rock festival, punk, punk festival, and, and we're going down really well in this festival because we're something different. And people from all different walks of life, different genres of music that, that they're into. They, they come to the show and they're really into it. That's what's really cool about playing America in general. So why don't you tell us about your limited edition album? It's uh, basically just a nine track LP that we've put together uh, just for the tour. And it's got a nice little walk tour logo on the back. Yeah. So, yeah, it'll be, if we ever make it famous, it'll be like a, a rarity kind. <laughs> Maybe, unless it's some fun. <laughs> but yeah, you can pick that up from a, obviously our merch tent. Um, at the moment it's a discount price of $5. You um, might go back over and know, yeah, we'll see. <laughs> see ourselves. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. Not our decision, alright? No, no that's a management decision. Alright, so, so it's called Truth or Sarah because I like to play the game Truth or Dare. Yeah. Yeah, so why don't you guys go ahead and Oh, man. Okay, so you just dared me to tweet the lyrics of my favourite Britney Spears song. <laughs> I'd probably say Toxic for that one. I like Toxic. It's got some good production on that. So, I, I don't have Twitter with me. I don't have a, I don't have a smartphone over there. Well, you can sing it. <laughs> sure, sure. Sing it, Come sing on. it. Sing it. It's your favourite. Yeah, no, that's the only one to know. It's that one. I know that. <laughs> no, you did, you did okay there. I like yeah. that. He's not taking over for a second. <laughs> <laughs> right, you ready for this question? I'm going to give it. Oh, this, this could be really rude. <laughs> if you were the opposite gender for a day, what would you do? Oh, Christ. <laughs> uh, I don't want to stay on, I don't want to stay on camera. <laughs> Turn the camera off for yeah. a second. <laughs> yeah, we'll just say something nice. Um, what would I do? You'd put her on a skirt and dance around. 
I put on a skirt and dance around like a fool. <laughs> You'd skip through the meadows and everything. Yeah. Touching your handbag. Yeah. Putting my hands through my lovely long hair. <laughs> Go on, Lois, I'll look at yours. What's one thing not many people know about you? It's an hard one, really, because I think I always tell everybody everything. It's not always a good thing. Straight away. The only thing I can think is I can play the recorder. Oh, whoa. Really? <laughs> I, I, think, I yeah, didn't even know that. Can, exactly, that's the point of the question. <laughs> recorder? Why are we not putting your recorder in the set? Can you, so, can you play like, the tin whistle as well? A little bit. I need to have to practice again to, to just play. We, we need to start doing some songs with some tin whistle. Seriously? Yeah. <laughs> there we are. We're going to start throwing out some jigs and stuff. Are we doing another question? Yes. I hope I get a nice one this time. Oh, right. <laughs> okay. So tell us about your first performance as a band. For me, because I joined these guys late, it was, uh, it was like January last year. The only reason why I got put in the band in the first place, because I was living like miles away from everybody else. I was living in London, I had my own life down there and stuff. And I got a phone call from Simon. And he was like, do you fancy just like joining in the band? At first I turned him down, and as soon as I went back to Sheffield over Christmas, he was playing an acoustic gig and I got really drunk. And he convinced me to uh, to go out on a European tour with him. <laughs> so yeah, basically a couple of weeks later, I had a phone call. I was like, do you remember his conversation? Yeah. What do you mean no? Like, you've got, you've got a week to get a passport because we're going to Europe and you need to know all our songs. So that was my first performance. Like, I think we had one, we had one, we had one dry run in London. One dry run. I would play this really small club. Yeah, it's terrible. <laughs> and then we we'll the next day, where was it? Germany? Played first? Yeah, I think so. Oh, Italy. We went to a club. Oh, um, Vicenza. Yeah, Vicenza was the third. Yeah, so I've, given, I've been given a, a, nice, a nice one again. Make the sound of your favourite animal. <laughs> You guys beat it up really quick. Um, Meow. Meow. <laughs> <laughs> go on, right. go on, you're next. <laughs> Mine is easy because we've just had this really in another interview. If a movie was made about your life, who would play you and your bandmates? So basically, Elijah Wood. Yeah, Elijah Wood. Bilbo Baggins. Because <laughs> that's what they said about me. Um, the guy who plays uh, Garth, Garth in Wayne's, Wayne's World. World. Dana Carve, is it? Yeah. And um, Kim Kardashian, I said, too, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> and then Simon and was Simon uh, ben, Affleck. ben Affleck. Because people always say it looks like Ben Affleck. Which I don't think it is. <laughs> is there anything else you want to say? I think, I think we're all sure we're the last day. Just yeah. check us out on all the social media Facebook, Twitter, yeah. Instagram. That's Albert's Kings. Next time I'll get my uh, animal impressions better for you all as well. <laughs> Thanks. Yeah. Thank you so much. Thank you.